Hi, I'm Zach from Kid to Kid Tutorials, and right now we're going to be practicing some indifferences of cube. So for our first problem, we have expand the products a x minus one times x squared plus x plus one b and c. So we'll do a first. So we have x minus one times x squared plus x plus 1. And then if you multiply this whole thing in there, that would look complicated. So we'll just break it down into pieces. So we have x times x squared plus x plus 1 minus 1 times x squared plus x minus, I mean, plus 1. So we can do these one at a time. First, let's do x times x squared plus x plus 1. So x times x squared plus x plus 1 is x times x squared is x to the third plus x times x, which is x squared, plus x times 1, which is x. So minus negative 1 times all these is minus x squared minus x minus 1. So now we can cancel out the like terms. So x squared minus x squared is 0. So those cancel out. And x minus x is 0 also. So we're left with x to the third minus 1 as our answer. Now we're going to do b. x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. So the same thing that we did with a. x times x squared plus 2x plus 4 min <coughs> minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. So we'll do x times x. So we'll do x times x squared plus 2x plus 4 first. So x times x squared is x to the third plus 2x squared plus 4x. And then negative 2 times all that is minus 2x squared minus 2 uh, minus 4x and minus 8. So we can cancel out the like terms. So 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. So you cancel that out. And 4x minus 4x is 0 also. And you're left with x to the third minus 8. Now we go on to c. And c is x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9. So as we did with b and a, we write x times x squared plus 3x plus 9. And minus... 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9. So we start with this. So x times x squared is x to the third plus 3x squared plus 9x. And then now we do this. Minus 3x squared minus 9x and minus 27. So we can cancel out 3x squared minus 3x squared, and that is 0. And 9x minus 9x is 0 also. And we have no more like terms, so we're left with x to the third minus 27 for c. <coughs> so now we have our second and final problem. The unknown real numbers x, y, z satisfy the equations this. And in this uh, problem, we're going to find for x only. So first, let's do one at a time. Let's do the first one first, and then we'll do the second one last. So first thing we do, so we write it out. So x plus y over 1 plus z equals 1 minus z plus z squared over x squared minus xy plus y squared. So we have that. 
And the first thing we do is cross multiply. So we'll do the numerator first, and then we'll get to that. So x plus y times x plus y, parentheses x plus y, times parentheses x squared minus xy plus y squared. So now we do, we multiply this one at a time. x times x squared minus xy plus y squared plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. So we have that. And we'll do x times this first. So x times x squared is x to the third. And x times this is x squared minus x squared y and plus xy squared. I mean, x squared, I mean, xy squared, yeah. <laughs> okay, so plus y t x squared. So y x squared or x squared y minus x x y squared and plus y to the third. So we have this and we add or subtract the like terms. So if you add x, x squared y plus negative x squared y, that cancels out. So those cancel out. And then plus, so xy squared minus xy squared is zero, so you cancel those out too. And you're left with x to the third plus y to the third. Now that we've done the numerator, now we go on to the denominator. So we cross multiply one plus z times that. So one plus z times one minus z plus z squared. And then we'll do this one by one like we did with the numerator. So one times that, which is the same thing as that. So we'll do that. <coughs> and then plus, plus z times that. So plus z times one minus z plus z squared. And one times that is that. So we have one minus d plus z squared. And then plus two times that is two minus two z. Uh, no, z minus z squared plus z to the third. <coughs> so we have that and we add or subtract the like terms. So the only like terms are this, this, so are the z's and the z squareds. So these cancel out, negative z plus z, those cancel out because that's zero. And z squared minus z squared is zero also. So we're left with one plus z to the third. Now we'll start with the second equation, x minus y over 3 minus z equals 9 plus, 3 z, uh, 9 plus 3z plus z squared over x squared plus xy plus y squared. So we cross multiply. So let's start with the numerator first. So x minus y times that. And let's start off to uh, simplify it. We do x times x squared plus xy plus y squared and then minus x squared plus xy plus y squared. That's a lot of variables. So we'll do that first. So x to the third plus x squared y plus xy squared. So minus yx squared or x squared y minus xy squared minus y to the third. So we have our like terms. So x squared y minus x squared y is zero, so we cancel that out. And x squared, well, xy squared minus xy squared is zero, so we cancel that out. 
So you get x to the third minus y to the third. Now we start with the denominator of this. So 3 minus z times 9. 3 minus z times 9 plus 3z plus z squared. So we have 3 times 9. 3 times 9 plus 3z plus z squared. And minus, minus z times 9 plus 3z plus z squared. So let's do this first. 3 times 9 is 27. So 27 plus 9z plus 3z squared. Minus 9z plus, I mean minus 3z squared minus z to the third. Okay, now let's add or subtract the like terms. So 9z minus 9z is 0, so you cancel that out. And 3z squared minus 3z squared is 0, so you cancel that out also. And we're left with 27, so we're left with 27, 27 minus z to the third. <laughs> okay. 27 minus z to the third, sorry. So we're having technical difficulties with writing on the board. So we just did the best we can. <laughs> so now if we, we're trying to solve for x. And remember this was x to the third plus y to the third. So, sorry. It got erased. So now if we add this equation to that equation, we cancel out the f we cancel out the y's and the z's. So we're left with so x to the third plus x to the third is two x to the third. Two x to the third equals huh, now it's doing better. So it equals twenty seven plus one, which is twenty eight. Okay, so divide by 2, and we get x to the third, divide by 2, and we get <coughs> x to the third equals 14. And then now we can cube this. So how we write that is a radical, so radical, and then we write a little 3 right in between there, and x, we write x to the third in there equals the same thing with the 14. So it's called a cube root. So we have the cube root of x to the third equals the cube root of 14. So we write a 14. So the cube root of x to the third is just x, and we can simplify this any further. So just x equals the cube root of 14 as our answer. Thank you for watching Kids to Kid Tutorials, and if you like our videos, please share, like, and subscribe.